hello guys welcome to the coding engineer in this tutorial we are going to see about the hollow space square pattern in javascript so let's get started so here we are having the 5 into 5 cross matrix which will be a hollow in the middle of it so okay so i am taking let n is equal to 5 which will be we are using the 5 into 5 cross matrix so i'm taking n is equal to 5 so we want to have two for loops for rows and columns so for a row equal to one it starts from one and uh, the condition will be row less than equal to n it should be less than equal to five so no row should be increment for each for equations so now for the column for let column starts from 1 and column should be less than equal to 5 and column should be increment for each iterations so here we have the patterns so here we have the conditions which will be for first row and the last row should be printed the whole thing and the first column and the last column should be printed the whole patterns so that's the condition so we have to use this like so i'm having a condition like if row equal to equal to one or row equal to equal to row equal to equal to n which will be a five the last uh space here or the rest should be rest equal to rest plus stop so here the rest is a string variable otherwise it should print the space between it else it's it should have a rest plus equal to rest plus should should have a space between them so after the iteration it should be come to the next line it's equal to rest plus iteration moves to the next line so i'm printing the thing Control dot lock yes. so we can see what is happening here so so here we go we got the rows in the we are the whole patterns in the first row and the first column so now we want the rows in the first column and the last column so we have to change the conditions a little bit like or column equal to equal to one or column equal to equal to n so if the condition uh, is row equal to one it should print the patterns the whole patterns L. if the kind of row is n it should print the whole pattern if the column is one it should print the whole pattern if the column is n it should want to print the whole pattern otherwise it want to show the blank space between them Oh, here we go we got the output as what it is like that 